as they were attacking the goal away to our left. He finds Anthony Robinson. Just about three minutes on the clock. Alex Iwobi back in the starting lineup. Here's Pereira. Shapes up for the shot. As I say, he'd love to score this afternoon. He needs a goal, really. Andreas, that one well struck, but straight at uh, Andre Onana, the uh, Cameroon international goalkeeper. Just one, one goal in the Premier League from the byline nowadays of course it's, it's stepping in onto your more natural foot before you get a cross away and uh, nearly everybody does it but yeah it'd be good to see someone who could really run with blistering pace that's a good header from Yunus is he going to find Iwobi he got the shot away he just bobbled it it's going to be a goal kick I'm not sure if uh, Harry Wilson and Alex Iwobi there maybe put each other off I think it was Harry's run across the eye line of Alex Iwobi, it could have fallen to either of them. It's a great header from Rodrigo Munez, to be fair. Although it might have come off his shoulder looking at the replay. And then Alex just drilled it into the ground. It wasn't a clean strike, Jamie, but... Uh, yeah, and I think it does take time when you're a young player. You mentioned the language barrier, and that clearly was a barrier. You know, he's uh, enjoying his football, he's settled in his family life, and the fans love him. Here's Alex Iwobi up to the edge of the penalty area for Fulham onto the right foot. Well, he tried to measure it, he tried to place it in the corner, and Arda went down scrambling. He didn't get anything on it, it's going to be a goal kick, but uh, again, encouraging for Fulham that we've got into a really good area. I'm just wondering whether Alex will feel, Jamie, he could have done better there. He's, he took his time, he's tried to place it into the corner, but I think he should be beating the keeper from that position. Yeah, I think he could have opened his body up and perhaps gone the other side, Jim. You have to think to yourself with Maguire out of position like that, he got drawn towards the ball. It just created a little bit of space in behind. We've won the corner. It'll be Andreas Pereira again. Can we get a better ball in this time? Well, it's headed towards goal. Oh, what a save by Anano. It was a better corner. Rodrigo Muniz, a great header. He's starting to look more and more like... Uh, Alexander Mitrovic every week, Jamie, he's peeled away, he's found a bit of space in the box for himself. Good, powerful header down into the ground. Great save from Anana, and unfortunately it's then ricocheted against a Fulham player. We didn't even get a corner out of it, but uh, Sasha Lukic in front of goal just couldn't get his boot around it, or he might have had a tap in, but again, that's a real encouraging sign, and it's... Uh, it's a good save from Anana to deny Rodrigo Muniz. Yeah, it really was a good save because he just hooked it into that bottom corner. It's a tricky one because it was a blindside run, wasn't it? You might have thought that Castagna could have looked to try and stay goal side. He was aware of the danger and the threat. Yeah, and Michael Oliver felt well, it was not only a free kick to Manchester United, but uh, it warranted a yellow card the first of the game. Fernandes spins it into the box. Oh, it fell really awkwardly. We haven't got it clear at the moment. Harry Maguire pushes it for Garnacho onto the right foot. Oh, it's heading in. Robinson heads it away from behind Burnt Leno. We still haven't quite got it clear. And in the end, it's hooked over the bar. There's a really dramatic fall to the ground. It's Maguire. From Maguire. Trying to con the referee to me for a penalty. But, oh, blimey, everybody's heart was in their mouth there, the Fulham fans. And that's a great clearance from Anthony Robinson, Jamie. You've got to say, because the ball was behind Burnt Leno. It was heading in. Anthony's dropped behind very, very quickly. And he's made the little cushion header. I think it was beating Burnt, although it looked to me as if maybe Burnt could have gone for it, but he then realised Anthony Robinson was there and was going to deal with it. But, uh, well, no, he's not going to get near it. Looking at the replay from uh, that angle there, that's a great bit of defending from Anthony Robinson. It really was. And the positive for me is that he got back into position. He did well to guide that header. Muniz would have been there and he guides it out for another corner Fulham's fourth of this first half coming in it's headed towards goal again it's almost a carbon copy wasn't yeah, it yeah Rodrigo Muniz they're obviously working on that but he's finding space why is Manu picking him up Jim I'm pleased yeah let's hope but he continues suicidal. to do so you, know, you can't have that Muniz timed his run he pushed the uh, United player away it went out in the end it's a mismatch off Casemiro this time we've gone with the short corner Let's hope we can keep it up, but uh, there's a chance for a shot now. Oh, and it's clipped the outside of the post. It's Diogo Dallo, Dallo, of all people, to pose the first real threat from Manchester United. He set himself, he had a bit of space and time, Jamie, to pick his spot, went for the right foot, his shot, he struck it well. Thankfully, it was always heading slightly wide of where he wanted it, but Leno went down to his right-hand side. It shaved the outside of the post. 
And that's close, and that just goes to show the problem is we've been dominant, we've had the better of the game. Yeah, I thought it was young Fawson, but uh, yeah, a man who has been in splendid form, but certainly didn't bring his shooting boots. But now Andreas Pereira at the other end for Fulham. Slides it into the box for Alex Uwobi. Squares it back across the penalty area. Muniz on the turn. Oh, oh now he's hit the woodwork. Rodrigo Muniz. And again, absolutely brilliant. He bullies Harry Maguire. He turned away, allowed the ball to run onto his right foot. He spanked it. And he's hit the outside of the woodwork. So one a piece on that front now. But again, Jamie, this is great centre forward work. He's too strong there for Harry Maguire. He's created the angle for himself. He's got the shot away really quickly. The goalkeeper wouldn't have got to that. If that had been six inches to the left, it's in, and Fulham would be a goal in front. Yeah, he got the uh, last gasp winner, of course, at the cottage, and he has caused us problems. Ooh, dear, dear, late dear. Challenge from Harry Maguire. It's a terrible one. Well, play goes on, but uh, it's going to be retribution there. I think, oh, Anthony Robertson in the end with a cross. Is it Castagna? No, it's... It's a really bad tackle, this. Yeah, Anthony Robinson in the end with this kind of cross shot that's gone out of play for a goal kick, but uh, the referee's got a yellow card out, Jamie, I think. Oh, I think he's worth Harry more Maguire. than that. Sasha he's got Sasha Lukic. He's got him really late, and he's down. He's been playing well, Sasha, so far. A rare start for him, but uh, he's overrun it, Harry Maguire. It's a wicked challenge. Oh, VAR what, should be looking at yeah, this. Yeah, they should be sending him across to look at that. He's nowhere near the ball. No, the ball's I think moved he's going to go. He should before. go. He's got to come and look at that. If VAR are not speaking to him, he's out of control, Jim. Yeah, and the ball's been shifted, Jamie. It's gone ten yards before he's even got there. Precise play from Manchester United, but all of a sudden, he was in a really dangerous area. He's turned it back across goal. Tossing was there to defend it, and now Sas Sasha Lukic winning it back for Fulham. Good run through the middle, this is quality. Finds Andreas Pereira onto the right foot, he's going to curl it in. Oh, Anana with the diving save. Well, I tell you what, Fulham have been outstanding so far. This is top quality stuff. Pereira against his former club, he set himself with his right foot, Jamie. He knew exactly where he wanted to place it. Possibly gave a little bit too much away. The goalkeeper was confident where it was going to be, and he's got away early and made the spectacular save. One for the cameras, really, but it's... Uh, it's earned Fulham our sixth corner, but what a quick break again. Sasha Lukic. Involved. He's been very, very good so far, Lukic. Yeah, he's taken on the responsibility. Here come Manchester United again with Garnacho left hand side. Working it onto his right foot. He gets the shot away, and Burton Leno's forced to make a good save. Going to his left, and he pushes it behind for a corner to Manchester United. Well, Garnacho is very, very impressive, and Bernd Leno is equal to the impression that he's shown there. He cuts in field, Jimmy just gets a bit of space to run away from uh, Castagna, the fullback, tries to bend it into that far corner as he looks. We know how good he is off that right foot. That's a wonderful save. Trying to find Dallo, taken off him by Rodrigo Muniz. Great work again from the kid, and he finds Alex Awobi carrying it through the middle, slides it to the left. Andy Robinson oh! across the Has face of goal. Well, Andreas Pereira goes down, sliding into the Manchester Didn't United Lindelof net. push him? Was he pushed in the back? Up the touchline, Harry Wilson squares it back into Castagna once more. Here's Harrison Reed. Well, he's got the goal there, I think. He hasn't scored yet this season, Harrison, but Anana was just ever so slightly off his line. And I think he looked up and spotted that, Jamie. You've it would have gone in. Yeah, yep. you've got to say that's probably a, a shot from Harrison. And it took a fingertip save from Anana, the uh, Cameroon international. He's tipped it over. I think he's been stitched up as well, Harrison Reed. I think he might have stitches around the top of the eye. Yeah, he certainly got uh, headbutted by Casemiro, which... Uh, he had blood, didn't he, coming out of his injury uh, yeah. cut? Pereira, oh! Oh, yes! 1-0! It's Calvin Bassi! <laughs> His first goal for Fulham, he's absolutely smashed it past Anana. We had an effort from the corner that was blocked, and I thought the chance was gone. It fell, everybody hesitated for a moment or two, apart from Calvin Bassey, who stepped up and absolutely spanked it past Anana with his right foot, his first goal for the club. 
And a lovely little dance, Rodrigo Muniz, the uh, Samba star there, showing a few moves. He'd love to have scored it himself, I'm sure, but the smile is just as broad for his teammate Calvin Bassey, who's very quickly become a Fulham favourite. I think he's a great signing and he's been quality. It was him with the first attempt, in fact, which came back to him off Rodrigo Muniz. I don't think any defenders, or it came back off Timothy Castagna. No defenders really reacted quickly enough at all, but Batty would say he played a nice little one-two with Timothy Castagna, but as he gets it back, Jamie, that's a wonderful finish, bearing in mind where the game is. You know, you're away to Manchester United. He could easily have choked on that, but he smashed it into the net. No hesitation at all. He's opened his account. Fulham are in front, and deservedly so. Well, I'm glad that the net's there, Jim, because I wouldn't fancy being behind that goal he's hit it with great ferocity and just remind me isn't he a left-footed defender exactly yeah and it's the right-footed finish for sure can't remember the first attempt i think they were both right-footed the yeah they were came in just over uh, midway through this second half and tom kearney comes on with Fulham leading by a goal to nil. Here's Alex Iwobi, left-hand side, floats it into the box. Headed away by Dallow, or Lindelof, and then Harrison Reed took it on the half volley. And that wasn't far over the uh, United crossbar. He's very uh, nearly... Yeah, we just see a close-up. He's got uh, blood over his left eyebrow, Harrison, and some, maybe some butterfly stitches there. But uh, didn't stop him getting the shot away. Only Great pressing from Awobi, sorry Jim. Only about 20 yards inside inside his own half there, the Manchester United goalkeeper. Awobi did close him down, but Anana got the ball forward. Garnacho finds Marcus Rashford inside the penalty area. The right-footed shot, good save from Bern Leno. Deservedly in front, and please God we can keep it that way. But McTominay there to Ericsson, the two second-half substitutes. But Tom Kearney, one of Fulham's two second-half substitutes, nicks it off him, feeds it through for Harry Wilson. Up towards the edge of the penalty area, they got men back, but he curls it. Oh. Oh, it's just wide of the far post, and Arna went scrambling across. Lovely break from Fulham, quality between Tom Kearney and Harry Wilson, who just tried to uh, curl it inside the far post. It was a measured attempt. Well struck, Jamie, wasn't it? Just wasn't quite the finish in the end, but... 78 minutes on the clock. We've been absolutely brilliant. The next Fulham sub, but corner from the left-hand side. Ericsson swings it in with his right foot. Well, serves you right. Yep, it's dropped right. That ball's not in the quadrant either, Jamie, or touching it, but it's dropped right on the head of Harry Maguire. Three yards from goal. He's got a free header there, and he's put it up and over the crossbar and serves him right, as I say, because he shouldn't be on the pitch. Never going to fool the referee, but Ericsson this time pings the cross in. Maguire once again does the dying swan act in the Fulham penalty area. Embarrassing. He's staying on his feet now that he's back on his feet. And in the end, he's carried the ball out of play, has he? No, it's still in, and he's managed to cross it. Fernandes keeps it in. Left-hand side of the penalty area. Bruno Fernandes goes for goal, but Leno turns it away. It had to be. Oh, you couldn't make that up. Harry Maguire from close range. Is he not offside? The flag stayed down. Absolute nonsense. He shouldn't be anywhere near that, Harry Maguire, for me. I mean, he probably could have got a second yellow card for the acting. He's, he's thrown himself over every time he's got in the Fulham penalty area. And he's got the equaliser from a yard out. Burn Leno, for me, I'm not 100% sure. Do you push that ball out into that area? I don't know, but uh, it was a scrappy goal again. Maguire just about keeping it in play on the right-hand side. As it swung in, he's definitely on side. There's a player in the middle who maybe... It's McTominay. Has he interfered with a keeper in any way? I'm not sure. Maybe I'm clutching at straws, but Harry Maguire, for me, should never be there. And I don't really want to apportion blame. They're checking it for a possible offside. I think, unfortunately, that's uh, maybe Calvin's Calvin, right is leg, it? But he's, yeah. big, he's stretching his leg out behind him. I just wonder, Jamie, the last thing I want to do is dig a Fulham player out when we played so well. But 
should Burton have done a little bit better with this one? I'm not sure that's the position you push the ball out to. No, it's easy for me saying that up here, but they've given the goal. Well, Bert Leno has come into the Manchester United half to remonstrate with a goalie. But if they're honest, they'll know that we deserve uh, to be in front in this game. There's good work from Tom Kearney winning it back again. Good feet, great feet from Tom. And he slides it into the path of Timothy Castagna. Galloping down the right-hand side. Pushes it forward for Triori. Right-hand side of the box. Into the penalty area for Castagna. Across the face of goal was a diving header from... Uh, Rodrigo Munez, he nearly conjured something up from 12 yards there. He had to stoop down and knee level to get his head to it. Not a diving header as such, but he uh, stooped. We nearly opened him up. Back for Diop, hooks it forward up towards Rodrigo Munez. He's all manhandled over him again. by Maguire. Traore, though, bursts forward, gets the better of Maguire. Carrying it well into the Manchester United half, cutting in field. Amanda Traore for Alex Awobi, back onto the right foot. Yeah! He's done it! Come on! Come on! Come on, Come on Fulham! Come on, Fulham! Alex Awobi, we've done the double Nigerian. What a goal! And what a great winner, let's hope, for Fulham. We deserve that. We really deserve that. What a finish, Jamie. I had to be honest, I thought it had gone wide. To Throw start it to with. the bottom corner, have some Absolutely of that. Absolutely perfect placement from Alex Awobi. There's the two boys. The Super Eagles have done it for Fulham. Surely to God, that's it now. Absolutely brilliant and no more than we deserve. And then Fulham fans away to our right in absolute raptures. And why not? Because the best side have won this game. If that's the final score, it's a deserved win for Fulham. We have Maguire well on toast done. there, Jim. Alex Awobi, what a great finish from him. Steadied himself, edged it onto his right foot, and he gave the keeper the eyes. He thought it was going the other way. I must admit, I thought it hit the side netting, Jamie, to start with. He and took that second touch, didn't he? That's what yeah, wrong footed everyone. He balanced himself. Yep. That is a great finish from Alex Awobi. It's his fourth Premier League goal of the season. He's got one in the cup as well, five goals.